Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss what is final distribution board enclosure and its type. What is electrical enclosure? As I mentioned here, electrical enclosure is nothing but a cabinet that house various different type of electrical components like breaker, protective device, control device and signaling device along with the circuit there are many type of electrical enclosure but our focus in this video is to understand the type of final distribution board enclosure based on the breaker arrangement based on the breaker arrangement final distribution board enclosure is of three type first one is row type second one is way type and third one is split way type but before to understand the type of the enclosure we have to understand the term modules the term module will help us out to understand the type of enclosure of final distribution board here i have shown uh, many types of breaker this is single pole breaker, this is double pole breaker, this is three pole breaker, this is four pole breaker, this is the timer, this is the UV relay, this is another type of UV relay and this is the contactor. Here we have to understand what the module represent. One module represent that there is a space to install single pole MCB two module represent that there is a space to install two single pole MCB two sim single pole MCB or there is a space to install double pole single uh, MCB three module represent there is a space to install three single pole MCB or one three pole MCB. In same way, the four module represent there is a space to install four single pole MCB or one four pole MCB. Here in our example, this one is also UV relay, under voltage relay and this one is also UV relay but this UV relay is considered as a one module because it's taking the same space as the MCB single pole MCB is taking but this UV relay can be considered as a four module because this UV relay is taking the same space as the four pole MCB is taking or four single pole MCB is taking hope you got the idea related to the term module if someone will say that a panel of 16 module then you can imagine that that panel has a space to install 16 single pole mcbs now let us move further to our topic that is the types of enclosure as i told you there is three types of enclosure for the final distribution board based on the breaker arrangement that is row type way type and split way type so now let us let us discuss about the row type if the breakers are arranged in row pattern then that enclosure will called row type if a enclosure have one row then it is called one row enclosure if the enclosure has two rows then that enclosure is called two row enclosure in same way if the enclosure has three rows then it will be three row enclosure in same way if a enclosure have six row then that enclosure will call six row enclosure in our example this enclosure have three rows one two and three so this enclosure is called three row enclosure now let us talk about the modules 
if this single row has a space to accommodate 16 mcbs 16 modules then this enclosure will call three row 16 module enclosure if a panel has two rows okay and each rows can accommodate 16 module then that enclosure will call two row 16 module in same way if a panel if a panel have six rows one two three four five and six and have each rows having a space to accommodate 24 modules then that enclosure will call six row 24 modules let us take an example to understand it better if anyone will ask you it is which type of fdb enclosure then you can say that it is a four row enclosure because there is a four row one two three and four then you have to find the modules you have to count the breakers in each rows so let us count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so each rows have 16 modules so this is four row four row and 16 module panel now let us discuss about the second type of fdb enclosure that is way type fdb enclosure in way type fdb enclosure the breakers are arranged inside the panel in a vertical pattern unlike in the row type where the breakers are arranged in the horizontal manner the way type breaker can be of four way type six way type eight way type 12 way type 16 way type 20 way type and 24 way type to better understand it let us take an example here i have taken a way type fdb final distribution board why it is way type because all the breakers here are assembled in a way manner in a vertical manner to, to understand which way it is it, it is either four way or six way or eight way or twelve way we have to count the number of breaker so let us count one two three four five six seven eight nine and there is a space for the three breaker so ten eleven twelve there are total twelve breakers to find the number of way we have to divide it by 3 so it will come to 4 so this is a 4 way breaker here you may ask why I divided with 3 here the way represent that how many 3 phase circuits are going to be fed from this distribution board so for to fit 3 phase distribution board we need 3 set of breaker 1 for R, 1 for Y and 1 for B. So suppose this 3 B breaker is fading 1 circuit, one 3 phase circuit R, Y, B, 1. This 3 will fit another 3 phase circuit R, Y, B, 2. This 3 breakers will fit third circuit that is R, Y, B, 3. And the three blank spaces where the three breaker can be assembled can fit another three phase circuit that is R, Y, B, 4. So, how many three phase circuits can be fed from this distribution board? 4. That is why it is four way DB enclosure. Now, let us take another example. To understand it better if someone will ask which kind of DB enclosure it is then you can say easily it is a way type DB enclosure because the breaker are arranged in a vertical 
pattern unlike the row row type in order to find it is either four way db or six way db or eight way db or 12 way db 20 way db 24 way db what we have to do we have to count the number of breaker so let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so total 9 plus 9 18 breaker in order to know how many three phase circuit can be fed through this db we have to divide by 3 so the number will come 6 so it is a 6 way db now let us discuss about the third type of fdb enclosure that is a split way type db enclosure in order to understand the split type db enclosure we have to go back to the way type db enclosure because the split type is the advanced version of way type db enclosure in the way type db enclosure either all the outgoing breakers or module to be of rcbo type or a single rcd device will control all the outgoing circuits but in the split way type db enclosure the outgoing breakers are divided into two sections the first section will be protected by one rcd device and the other section will be protected by another rcd device the split way type enclosure can be of 2 plus 2 way type 4 plus 2 way type 2 plus 4 way type 4 plus 4 way type 4 plus 6 way type 6 plus 4 way type 4 plus 8 way type 6 plus 6 way type 8 plus 4 way type 6 plus 8 way type accordingly 4 plus 12 way type now let us understand what does what does 2 plus 2 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 4 plus 4 stand for to understand this concept let us take an example here i have taken a split way type final distribution board why it is a split type because there is a two section one section and another section and first section is protected by one rcd and second section is protected by another rcd in order to know which split way final distribution board enclosure it is we have to count the number of breaker so let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it's so in the section 1 we have total 9 plus 9 breaker 9 here and 9 here so how much total it is 18 as i told you to know how many three phase circuit can be fed we have to divide it by three so it will be six now let us count the circuit breaker or the module in the second section so let us count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so in the second section there is total 12 plus 12 24 circuits 24 breakers in order to get how many three phase circuit can be fed we have to divide it by three so it will be eight so this final distribution board will be a split way type of six plus eight because in section one the way is 6 in the section 2 the way is 8 in order to better understand the split way distribution board enclosure let us take another example here it is a split way type distribution board why it is split way type because there is two sections there is two section one section and 
another section which is protected by two different RCD. In order to know which split weight type final distribution board it is, we have to count the number of modules in the section 1 or the number of breaker in the section 1. So let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in section 1 there is total 9 plus 9 modules or breaker okay in order to know how many three phase circuit can be fed from this then we have to divide by three so it will be six in same way in order to know how many three phase circuit can be fed from section two we need to count the number of breaker or the number of module in section two so let us count one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In same way, here 15. So in the section 2, there are total 30 modules or 30 breakers. In order to know how many 3 phase circuit can be fed from the section 2, then we have to divide by 3, then it will be 15, uh, sorry, uh, 10. So this a split wave type distribution board is 6 plus 10. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you really like my video then give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay. We will meet in any other video with different topic. Till then take care. Keep learning. Bye bye. Thank you so much.